What is up guys, Orbital Pilot back here once again in the world, not actually in War Thunder this time, we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, so recently, as you guys know, I've been trying out different games uh, for the channel, uh, I've recorded several different things, but this is one I really want to try out. Um, now this was a lot of uh, opinion and, and, you know, friends giving me uh, tips and stuff and uh, comments as well, but... This is uh, this is League of Legends, and it's something that I've never really been into. Um, a lot of my friends are, though. A lot of my friends have wasted literally hundreds of hours um, on this game. So, you know, I'm not one to talk. War Thunder, I think, has probably consumed like a year of my life by now. Um, but I, I did want to try this out. So, I think next time I post one of these videos, it's going to be live commentary. I think it's better for this game. Um... But, but we'll see, uh, as you, this is, as you guys can guess, this is post-commentary. Um, uh, but this is something, this is a very, very interesting game. Now, this is, uh, some Nocturne gameplay, and, um, you're gonna see, I'm not, I'm not super great. Uh, I, I just as of now, I think this was, this was probably the fourth or fifth game I've ever played, uh, and it's really only until probably my tenth or twelfth game that I'm kind of getting familiar with. Uh, so this is a team of actual people versus a team of AI, and of course, I mean, you're not going to lose to AI. So, you know, I, I was curious um, just to get to know the game and just to see how uh, you guys reacted. So let's just let's just kind of get into it now. So far, from what I can tell from the game is that uh, it's very um, it's very uh, I'm playing it very nonchalantly, very uh, you know not not a whole lot of, not a whole lot of tactics but I can kind of see what people mean by uh, it it's kind of a more of a planning game um, more of more of a tactic game than anything else obviously in other games I've played uh, mostly war Thunder on this channel it is it is a very very tactic game this is kind of different this is almost like in a way almost more of a puzzle game compared to war Thunder and um, so far I've been having a lot of fun. So, Nocturne is, he seems to be a complete beast. Um, he has a lot of abilities that are really good offensively. Sadly enough, he does have to get right up to the opponent um, to do base damage. Now, I'm not sure if base damage is the right word. Basically, base damage is what I'm just calling uh, your normal attacks. But, he does have some fairly decent long-range attacks. Uh, now, so far, I've, I think I've only played three characters. He's probably my favorite. And, and, you know, I may be butchering his name, but, you know, if I am, just, I apologize. Not a, not a whole lot of, a, not a whole lot of, a, you know, practice here. So, uh, right here, I don't actually follow him in. Being the only person in that little circle is not a good idea. I have found that out for sure. Um, but, you know, I, I, I realize that I probably should have. I probably would have got away with it. This is this is something that if you guys play this game, um, I'll have my name down in the comments below. In fact, I think it's just Orbital Pilot, um, of course, with the O and P capitalized. If you guys want to jump in sometime, sometime I'm playing. I don't know exact times that I ever actually play because most of the time it's fairly random. Um, but it is it is a lot of fun. I'm sure it's more fun to play with actual teammates. So once I get a couple levels under my belt, you know, level ten, level fifteen. Um, then maybe I'll start playing with some subscribers, just just to see how I do. Now, of course, this, if this is massively unpopular on the channel, no one watches it, no one wants to see it, then obviously I will, uh, I'll just play this on my own, record something else. But if it is popular, it is a game that I have been enjoying. Now, getting out of that stupid circle when all your minions die, that's a must, because my god, that thing, uh, that thing kills you incredibly fast. Now, this was the first game I learned about the recall function, which I know sounds like a complete dumb thing to say, but um, it, it was something that I had not been using, which is really, really dumb, because I had walked all the way back to base. It was also something that I wasn't, uh, I had just kind of been learning what items to buy, what items not to buy. Keep in mind, still learning. You may be looking at this gameplay and just like dying inside. That's completely fine. I fully suspect that and uh, understand that as well. But God, I am uh, 
you know, like like now just looking back at this gameplay, even now recording, I thought it is it's almost painful to watch sometimes. But I wanted to post something um with me, you know, actually beginning something that way. Uh, you know, if it was something I continue to record, then then everybody can grow with the channel instead of me just jumping into something I already know. So going up the middle, I only actually have ever attacked the middle. Now, I, I have been kind of researching a little bit more on, on what to do, and Rise is, you know, Rise is not a great hero or character champion. Sorry. So far from what I can see, I personally hate playing him, and he, so far he seems really, really easy to kill. So I'm not really sure why someone would go pick him. You know, if you guys play this game, let me know down in the comments below what the perk of uh, fighting with Rise is. And if I'm butchering, butchering his name, I apologize for that too. So going for the third uh, tower right by their base, we do get it. Once again, Rise comes back, um, and sadly enough, I am mostly out of mana and it is it's just being completely obliterated there we see rise goes down again um somehow i'm credited for that kill um and that's you know that's interesting it wasn't really my uh, my doing i also didn't know about space to center the character god i don't know how i played without that before um just moving your mouse is something completely dumb and with three other characters around you I figured it was actually time to retreat a little bit. I'm going to go back and recall. Going to get some more mana. This is actually something um, I have been noticing. Uh, the mat, you know, the actual mana, going back to base and re recharging is something incredibly annoying. And I, I know maybe there's characters that you're supposed to use more magic, less magic on, um, you know, tanks and stuff. But you're going to see me do something here, and it may literally drive you up the wall. What I'm doing here is uh, actually buying more, or at least abilities to actually regen mana a little bit closer. Mana, mana, I, you know. Um, anyways, and I buy two of them. I didn't know things could stack, which is a really, really cool um, if you're going to go for something kind of offensively heavy. And with only 412 mana, it, God, it is incredibly annoying to only have a certain number of attacks. Uh, especially when... You most of the time are only doing base attacks. You don't do a whole lot of damage. So really, I need those offensive long-range abilities. Um, in fact, they're probably my most used abilities in the game so far. So, as we can see here, I don't know why I uh, I don't use DRF. Just, just you know, to uh, help increase movement speed. But keep in mind, I'm also completely new to this whole type of game. Um, I've never actually played a game arena based like this so this is the first time ever so if i seem a little bit odd with my tactics just know it's, it's probably because i actually am so as we can see here we have nexus and the stupid god i hate rise i feel like i'm butchering his name i hope i'm not but i do follow him in um don't use space once again and then i'm gonna retreat so once more minions come in i do decide to pop back in um but it's it's really something that once there's that much commotion, you can sometimes hardly you you can barely actually pay attention. So it, it's something difficult knowing when to attack and when to engage. You know, in War Thunder, I would say that uh, you have the battle won already, even if it hasn't started. If you have the ability to choose to engage and when to disengage at your will, if you can do those two things in a fight. Most of the time, you're pretty much guaranteed a victory, and it kind of seems to be the same way here. Now, luckily enough, my mana regenerates fast enough so I don't actually have to go all the way back to base. Um, but with two people following, I can't really, uh, I can't really fight them off without mana. So, trying to run away, I do something a little bit dumb here. Now, I, I actually just click on the map and point my guy here, thinking he would run away, but instead he turns around the other way and uh. I get completely butchered, so that's one death, um, and I know most of you guys are probably cringing like hardcore because, A, I'm really bad, Secondly, second of all, um, these are against AI, but I, I want to get good enough and comfortable enough before going against actual people to that where I can actually uh, kind of at least defend myself. 
So, I'm also not good at leveling up uh, moves. I most of the time just wait and wait and wait and wait and wait because I'm not used to ever having to do that um, until I have like a bunch of points for leveling up and then I level up the same thing. So, most of the time I do go for uh, those long range attacks. Most of the time they're paired uh, to Q. I don't know if there's a specific name for them. But they're really, really helpful, and in fact, they're probably my most used move. Now, I'm not sure if that applies to everybody, if that's kind of a universal thing. Uh, but I know personally, they are easily the most useful thing in the game so far. I've noticed some moves also, or, or some abilities, are kind of, uh, are either, they're very situational. And I have a bad habit of just using them, because they're open, and I don't have to wait for them to recharge. Even if they don't help me at all. So that's something I have to learn to deal with. Um, uh, the other character I've been, I've been playing is, uh, I think her name is Ari. She's OP as hell, um, but not as fun as uh, Nocturne, at least to me. So following in, following in uh, these all these bots, I really, this was a dumb move. Yeah, with four people there, um, most of the time you're going to be butchered. Now, I do get a kill, um, and I do get thrown back. And I, do, I have a fair enough amount of mana. But not not a whole enough uh, to defeat two characters. So turning back around, uh, I'm gonna go for it, and luckily enough, it, it you know it pays off. So I don't get the kills, but at least uh, at least they're gone. So moving into the battle, um, I'm not actually sure uh, what the tactics are for this specific character. I've been like I said, I've been researching like uh, which characters are better at attacking attacking left, middle, or right lanes. Or which ones are better for uh, going in the forest. I've heard this guy's slightly better at foresting. I don't really know how to do that yet. So just bear with me here. Um, kind of kind of point and shoot right now. Until I get a little bit better. So attacking the crystal. I've noticed once once you get this many characters in, in their base. It's really. It's pretty much game over. So destroying turrets. Destroying um really anything with this many people is fairly easy the only thing uh, i've noticed here is you have to be fairly careful because with two overlapping circles it can get uh it can get deadly really really quick but like i said once you get this many teammates there and this confined space you're pretty much done for now my teammate went on a pentakill right there which is absolutely insane even against bots in my opinion um and really, at this point, there's not much they can do to save the game. Um, even in it, even with AI, even with real people, I'm guessing. Yeah, not a whole lot. So, once again, with that double overlapping circle, I have to get out of there almost immediately. And go back and immediately get hit by another one. So, yeah, running away is, um, is a preferred thing, I think, in that situation. So, quadra shots and more enemy turrets destroyed but i don't i don't really know why they're not attacking these and another pentakill which is absolutely insane so my only complaint with nocturne so far is that his base move is up close and personal personally i'd much rather have a ranged move it means i can kind of sit out of the circles instead of having to be right in which is a major major complaint for me because it, it really leads to a lot more damage um, luckily enough, he does have a fair amount of health, but even still, I just prefer to take no damage at all. So, that, that, that's kind of it for this video. I think next time I, I upload one of these, it's going to be live commentary, which is going to be a little bit weird for me, but I, I think it's going to work. Um, we'll see how it is. But guys, thank you for watching. Until then, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.